Hello guys, congratulations that you made it to Road to Success 2023 and I want to congratulate Maya and her husband and the entire volunteer team for putting together an amazing, yet amazing, remarkable event. We're proud to be a sponsor again this year of this amazing, amazing event. I'm asked to share with you briefly, of course, my wife said it has to be brief. So this is, um, I'm making this a two-part conversation. So first part is a seven minutes. And then after that, our group CEO will just share a bit with you about who, who our company. Now, the second part will be about 10 minutes. And you will need to um, visit the URL link, www.steven.com akintayo.com forward slash uh, real estate uh, uh, book because I'm giving you a gift and I'll give you an opportunity to also watch the second part of the video because again they don't have enough time to give for me to be able to do the entire 15 to 20 minutes presentation but you get the first part in seven minutes the second part you can go watch it on my YouTube or go to that URL link that I am giving you right away so I'm um, to talk about repositioning for success. And I'm going to start in this first part by telling you my story. I was born in the northern part of Nigeria um, called Meduguri. And for a good year, for a good amount of time, there was no running water, there was no electricity where I was born, where I grew up. My mother was a civil servant. My father's business had crumbled. So my mother had to work to raise five children. And of course, my education was also terrible. You know, my English was bad, my writing was bad. But I, I read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad at the age of 17, 18. And I saw that I could change all that. I can practically walk my way to wealth for my family and for my nation. I could be a giver rather than a taker. I could be an employer rather than an employee. I could be an investor rather than be a beggar. And I saw the potential and I was just really mesmerized. And I started my journey, you know, to repositioning myself from that shy, you know, uh, boy from a very poor background to becoming a builder of a real estate empire. You know, um, in August, I got the Forbes Best of Africa Award as investment coach of the year and real estate mogul of the year in London by the popular Forbes magazine. And it was one of those humbling experiences looking back to where I'm coming from to how far we are going. We just acquired a 40 acre property in Houston, Texas, where we are attempting to build the largest green and smart estate in the US of A. But how did I get here? First, I acknowledged where I was. It was a terrible position. Second of all, I developed hunger for success. Everybody say hunger for success. You can shout it in the room. Hunger for success. I often say this, that if you are contented with where you are, you will perpetually remain in mediocrity. There has to be intentionality. There has to be a decision to say, this place is not good enough. And particularly for people of color. A lot of us, we've seen the story of the Arabs. When they started, you know, they were just like us, people of color. There was racism. There was segregation. Okay? Whites were better than blacks and Arabs in their mind. And were all colonized. But you could see countries like Qatar, like United Arab Emirates, begin to put dignity back to their people. But listen, it wasn't just the government. The people also grew this level of thirst and hunger for success, for a new UAE, for a new Emirati, that if you are an Emirati, your passport will matter. Not just because of the country, but also because the people are you know, upward, mobile thinking people. Now, we people of color must do the same. We must become more hungry for success because one successful black man 
is already changing the narrative. Right? I'm no longer seeing lack and black together. Once there is one successful person. You remember the movie, Wakanda, Black Panther. One of the reasons why we all loved the movie was it was the first, you know, black superhero movie. For many, many years, the picture was that if you're successful, you must be a white person. In all the movies. And you wonder why a lot of black people were not working their way to the top intentionally. Okay? Moving from one level to the next level. Intentionally. You were wondering why. It was strictly because we were not painting that picture. That it was possible for a black man from Africa to make it. And we started seeing changes. The first black American president, you know, we're seeing Black Panther as a movie. It's time to see more successful people of color. And right now to the part two of my presentation, I'll be sharing with you four strategies to reposition yourself to success. And I want to encourage you, like I said, I have to stop here to allow our group CEO, Mr. Ijaz Rana, to have his presentation with you about who we are, the opportunities we have, and the company we're building globally, and how you can be part of that story. Particularly, we have a, a virtual, a hybrid internship program. Your first two months is virtual, and then the remaining six months is physical to learn about building wealth in the real estate sector and, you know, and an amazing opportunity that we will also be sharing with you guys today. And you can take advantage of that. It's also important to state here, before I go to the part two, that if you're interested in getting the part two of this video, where I, sh I will now share four ways to reposition your sex yourself for success, you can please go to Dr. S. Akintayo, D-R-S-A-K-I-N-T-A-Y-O, on YouTube, subscribe, and you will see this video, the full version uploaded. Secondly, I'm giving you my book called Maximizing Your Real Estate Investment. So all you need to do to get that book is to visit www.stevenakintayo.com forward slash real estate book. This is a powerful book that goes for $47 on Amazon, but you're getting it for free today. I love you and thank you for being part of Road to Success. See you as you watch the part two of this uh, training on my YouTube channel. I love you. Bye bye. Okay, guys, so welcome to the part two of this particular training. Now we'll move to four ways to reposition yourself for success. The first way I'm going to be sharing with you is build mental capacity. I realize that a lot of us are mentally lazy. You see, your success is almost directly proportional to the degree of your mental capacity. If you don't have a sophisticated cerebral membrane, <laughs> okay, that has been developed over time, you, there's a limit to your greatness. And how do you then develop your mental capacity? Is a product of the books you read, the friends you keep, and more importantly, the events you attend, seminars and programs just like this. Listening to those who have gone ahead of you, I call it, have mental intercourse with great people. Yeah. In fact, you can tie to this first point, have mental intercourse with great people. When you read a man's book, that's what is happening. You are thinking at his frequency. You are meddling with his mind. You are beginning to reason at his or her level. And, and so you want to intentionally and deliberately begin to buy books by great men who have gone ahead of you. Attend seminars by great people who have gone ahead of you. And these are how you then build a superhero capacity, ability to evolve into that amazing, amazing person. That is how to reposition yourself for success. Today, I look back and I say, how did I get here? Okay? But I know the answer already. I repositioned. And one of the things I did, I started buying books of people who were wealthy, who were successful. 
I will read and read. At some point, I move to audio books. Today, I do an average of one to two books a week. I do more of the audio version because I understand that my success is directly proportional to the capacity of my mind, my brain. I cannot be greater. And that's why they said, as a man thinketh, so is he. You can't be greater than the capacity of this, your mind. And that's why you must get to that point where you empty your pocket to your brain. And your brain will soon be a money magnet. Let me say that again. For you to be a money magnet, empty your current pocket in your brain. Meaning, the little money you have, that is not enough, empty it to buying books, to attending seminars and courses and programs, just to change the narrative. And guess what? What then happened over time, ladies and gentlemen, is and it's just in a trickle of an eye as you are consistent with emptying your pocket in your brain. Your brain and your life becomes a money magnet. Money just keeps looking for you. Money just keeps coming every day. Okay. Number two is build quality network. I cannot overemphasize that. That your network determines your network. Now, there are three phases to becoming successful. The first one, hard work. The second one, you know, we call it smart work. And then the last one is called network. Anytime you deploy these three principles, you are guaranteed to be successful. When you decide to work hard, when you decide to work smart, and you decide to build great network, you cannot be anything short of success. So, to reposition yourself for success, ladies and gentlemen, you must build quality network. Years ago, I realized that a lot of networks around me were poorer than I was, and I knew something was wrong with that. Because listen, you are the average of five closest people to you. If the five closest people to you are poor, and you are even currently rich, it's a matter of time, you will join them in the poverty. Right? If the five closest people to you are rich, but you are poor, it's a matter of time, you will join them at the top and become rich. When I learned this principle, I decided one particular year, I said, I want to make sure this year, those I will go and meet and say, be my friend, must be billionaires. And that was the year my wealth started hinging towards billions in Nigeria. And since that time, we have been counting billions every year in turnover. Right? But it was a decision to say, I want to start moving with people who are where I want to go to. I'll give you an illustration. How many of you wait, let's say you're going for a seminar, okay? Or you're resuming at work in the morning, the time is 9 a.m. in the morning. How many of you go to the work naked? And then when you now get to the office, you now say, okay, yes, where's the toilet? I now want to put on the clothes for where I am going, which is the office. People will have held you on the road that something is wrong with your mind. And you'll be in psychiatric hospital, isn't it? The same way. You do not dress when you get to where you are going. You dress for where you're going. So in the same version, you must build relationship for where you're going. Build network for where you're going. Build people who are already where you are aspiring to get to. You don't wait till you get there and ask, okay, now I want to get raise people who are like me. No, no, no. You first raise people who are where you want to be and it's a matter of time you will be at their level. Number three, prioritize good name and integrity above money. A good name is better than silver and gold. I was sharing with somebody recently, I said, for successful entrepreneurs, it's not the product. Yeah, they are good, but that's not what people are buying. It's not the service. Good, but that's not really it. It's your name that people are buying. When you hear a man is worth a billion dollars, that money is a function of the confidence imposed on his name. Right? 
So make sure you prioritize. And UAE, all of you watching me, you are based in UAE, and UAE can be so fake. You know what I'm talking about. And you could meet people who just lack integrity on all sides. I remember having an experience of a gentleman in UAE, you know, who you know got to convince my investor to buy properties through him. And about two of them pay directly to him. The other two pay for the company he worked for. Year one came. We didn't get one property out of the five. Year two came. We didn't get one property out of the five. We then did a disclaimer that, well, this man lacks integrity. He's no longer associated with us. Please, <laughs> we're not having any business together. Guess what he did? He took that to the police station and claimed that his reputation was damaged. Of course, your reputation can never stand when you go all out, right, to swindle people, to take their hard-earned money. I've said this over and over again. There is no single acquisition that you find about me in business in the last 15 years that there is no integrity, you know, response to back what has happened. There's none. Right? Is it that somebody did business, he wants a refund? You bought land from me. He said, oh, the land doesn't exist. I will take you to where the land is. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why I decided to do real estate. Because I felt it was a business where I can prove my integrity. Because anybody can go on social media and accuse you of anything. But I want a business where if the person says anything, I go to the place and say, hey, this is what happened to the person's money. This is where we put the person's money. This is what we invested our money into. Okay, and, and, and I remember one of the major reasons when we moved to Dubai, in the first one year alone, we did over uh, about, about $10 million in sales. And it was because people felt they could trust that name. Please, prioritize good name above money. Your name is always at stake. And it must be something you guide, you guide with everything you have. Right, I remember my the, my legal team picked up a gentleman who was going about the damaging our company name and that of mine, and they said to me, "says Chairman, we must deal with this person because it's the name that we have." Right, so if somebody is lying about that name, we must defend it with everything we have. So, please, number three, if you want to reposition for success, prioritize a good name and integrity above money. Number four and the last. Okay? Show gratitude to God and man. You know, I've, I've, I've looked at my life today and I've, I've had reasons where people rose up to defend me. People who are ahead of me, you know, showed up for me in the places that matter the most. I remember my birthday this year. One of my mentors who literally just picked up a fight with me and big one because he had influenced my journey in the digital marketing space in the internet business space and 2015 when i said i was branching to digital real estate by 2016 of course it was a new business he was struggling he just felt no this guy is losing it something's wrong with him you have so so successful in the digital marketing space now you are picking up real estate that you are not sure of he was just so he, i probably I think what he was doing, he just felt he wanted to discourage me and, you know, take me out of, I don't know, whatever was his, in his mind. But I remember despite all the vicious attempts, I kept reaching out to apologize. Whatever I've offended you, sir, I'm sorry. Because for me, I vowed many years ago, it doesn't matter how little the help you render, I must always respect, appreciate, and be grateful for that impact. You see, you are disqualified for greater favor if you despise the ones that have been granted before. Whether by God, whether by man, God will always use man to help you. And I remember him apologizing at that event and said, of course, you've proved me wrong. You eventually went ahead with your real estate. Now you are so successful at it. And I'm proud of your achievement in the real estate sector. Okay, 
But it's been my culture. You know, I could have raised false alarms. I could have started, you know, trying to fight him back. But I've learned over the years, if people are ahead of you, you always meet them in front. So don't burn bridges. People who are repositioning for success, do not burn bridges. I would rather have you hurt me if you are ahead of me and go on, you know, Yoruba, where I, I'm a Yoruba man. And we have this added that says that it is elders that cheat the younger ones. I'm okay you cheat me if you are my elder, right? <laughs> Than to come and begin to rest what is not. Because I might still need you in front. You are the bridge that I need. And if I burn that bridge, a day will come. I will need that bridge to climb to the next destination. And the bridge is no longer there. It's no longer there. Ladies and gentlemen, you must be grateful to God and to man. You must build the culture of being thankful. People helped you with little things, right? Go and say, thank you. I am extremely grateful. Let, I mean, if you need to exaggerate your gratitude, it's okay when people help you. Same thing with your maker. Thank him that you can breed. A living dog is better than a dead lion. That you are still alive. Thank God. Because it's that atmosphere of joy and excitement that opens better doors. I've noticed in my lifetime of selling, I've sold over a billion dollars worth of real estate and different products. And I've realized that you can only convince people to do business with you with excitement and joy. You know why? People ultimately buy out of emotion and justify it with logic. So if you don't get that few good emotions right out there, you've limited your success. And when you begin to celebrate God, when you celebrate people around you who have been one way or the other instrumental for your success, you have opened the door for greater things in your life. I want to thank you for watching this video. I'm Dr. Stephen Akintayo. Like I said, for all of you who came to Road to Success to support my sister, my husband, and team, thank you for coming. Congratulations to you all. And like I said, my gift for you is simple. Um, and the process to that is go to my YouTube channel, Dr. S. Akintayo. Subscribe. And then visit www.stevenakintayo.com forward slash real estate book and I will be giving you my real estate book called Maximizing Your Real Estate Investment. It's for $7 on Amazon, but you're getting it free of charge. But those are the two instructions. Go to the YouTube channel, Dr. S. Akintayo. Subscribe, screenshot the evidence, then head to www.stevenakintayo.com forward slash real estate book and you can download that book for free. Of course, you need to put in your details and upload the evidence that you have subscribed to the channel. But I also want to encourage you to go to the videos in the channel. There are over a thousand videos that will change your life on that channel. Go watch them. You'll be inspired in a great way as you reposition yourself for success in the UAE. Thank you, and I would like to inform you that I have an event coming up on the 2nd of December in Dubai. I'll be live in person and it's called Real Estate Investment Masterclass in Dubai. And we're going to be teaching you a whole lot. Um, of course, seven different business uh, types of real estate that you can make good money from. A lot of times, even just think it's one part. So we're sending residential off plan. There's so many, you know, a lot in the value chain. You're going to be learning that. I'm also going to be sharing with you, of course, uh, other markets, UK, US, Africa, and the opportunity that exists. I'll be sharing with you how to attract high net worth individuals to do business with you. I'll be sharing with you, of course, uh, how to raise capital. So how to leverage an OPM and OP team, other people's money, other people's time, to scale up your business. It promises to be a life-changing experience, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the 2nd. Uh, so visit www.stevenakintara.com forward slash R I 
n okay to register for the event i cannot wait to see you i love you bye, -bye.